everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome I'm Nicole Chantel and if you like beauty videos 31 days of Halloween and Friday vlogs then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and become a part of my makeup family with all that being said let's jump right into this video so hello loves today we are going to be doing a Full first impression on two new products that I picked up at Sally's Beauty and this is the Ardell Camouflage High Definition Matte Foundation along with the Camouflage Concealer. Really super excited to test these out to see how they go. I'm going to give you full information about these two products and then show you a first impressions of me applying the products and then I will give you my final thoughts at the end of this video. So just to let you guys know that Sally's does have a new program now where you go in, you spend so much money, you earn so many points, and then they will actually email you a coupon. And I got $5 off my purchase, so that was a bonus. But this foundation does retail for $14.49, that's Canadian, and you are getting a total of 30 milliliters, which is one fluid ounce. And the concealer retails for $12.60, and you are getting a total of 7.5 milliliters, which is 0.2 two five fluid ounces so these are really inexpensive and yeah i'm really super excited to test these out this foundation comes in a total of 12 shades full matte coverage in one coat realistic high definition finish pigment pack extreme pigment matte foundation with full coverage long lasting matte foundation camera flage imperfections complete without caking one pump is all you need to even out discoloration, stop shine, and smooth lines. Apply with a damp beauty sponge, dip into the foundation, and roll into it onto face. Gently press down the sponge onto the skin. This concealer comes in a total of nine shades. It's a lightweight gel serum, brightens and covers, skincare infused. Cover up late nights with this skincare infused concealer, lightweight gel serum, buildable coverage, light to medium, brightens skin and covers imperfections as it hydrates the eye area with nourishing vitamins B5 and witch hazel. Dot, swipe and blend to erase dark circles, blemishes and redness. So first I'm going to go ahead and prime my face with the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer, which I absolutely love. This primer is amazing and I use it for all my foundation applications and I'm just going to apply it to the outer perimeter of my face and then I just take a little tiny bit of it and I place it on my nose. So the shade that I got in the Camouflage <laughs> Foundation is the shade Light 1 dot zero um, 12 shades in a foundation I know that this is only new to the market so maybe they're just testing the waters with it but hopefully they will come out with more shade range because 12 is not very many so I do love a good pump and I'm just going to pump some here onto my hand there we go that's three pumps right there and I am going to take my beauty sponge which I did purchase from winners and I'm just going to do what they said exactly to do take some on your sponge and then just roll it onto the skin you all know that I love a good matte foundation so here's the foundation all applied now this is the lightest shade that they have in this line which is like I said light 1.0 to me, it looks a little bit dark on my skin, like I always go for porcelain, and this looks a little tiny bit dark for my skin, but I will have to say that I like how it applies to my skin. I like the finish that it's giving. It's a, like I said, it's a beautiful, glowy matte finish. The coverage is really, really nice underneath the eye areas, very nice and light, but the lightest shade is too dark for me. Now let's lighten up my face a little bit. I am going to go in with the Camouflage Concealer. This one here is in light. So just look at the difference between the two shades there. You could totally tell. I feel like I have a tan going on right now. So I am going to take this and I'm, oh yeah, that's like super, super light. I'm just gonna apply those three dots first because I don't want to apply more just in case it dries down quickly. Thank you. 
So I'm going to go in with some more just to build it up to see if I could give it some extra coverage. There we go. So that's a second coat. It's not emphasizing the lines underneath my eyes. It's not becoming like cakey or creasing or anything. I really like how nice and lightweight it is underneath the eyes. It's not like a very thick concealer, which is really, really super comfortable. So there we go, I just applied the concealer to the rest of my face, and you all know that I have major dryness here in my forehead area, so just to let you know that the foundation and concealer is not making this area flake whatsoever, which is good. It's definitely covering up the redness here on my cheeks and my nose, and it's making my under eye area look really, really good, and I really like the whole finish of the foundation and concealer. So I went ahead off camera and I applied some blush and some lipstick and gloss. I didn't apply any setting powder or any setting spray because I wanted to see how the foundation looked like from a distance by itself. I did go in with more concealer to lighten up my face because as you could tell when I was really close up to you guys when I was applying the foundation it was dark and I had to blend it down my neck but when I applied more concealer it definitely made my skin look a lot more brighter which I really really like. So my final thoughts on the Ardell Camouflage high definition foundation along with the camouflage concealer. I like the coverage that this foundation gives you. It gives you a beautiful matte finish. Now I will have to say it's a lot different compared to my YSL um, all hours full coverage matte foundation for the simple fact because that one is like an extreme matte. To me it seems like it's a really extreme matte. This one here however is like a glowy matte. It kind of gives my skin a real nice glow to it. So I really really like that. I will have to say I hope that they do come up with more shades than just 12. I know that this is new and maybe they're just kind of testing the waters, but I honestly think that if you're going to put out foundations, you should put out a lot more than 12. So let's hope that they do. And I really hope that they do come up with a lighter shade than a light 1.0 because this one here is definitely too dark for me. I will definitely be wearing it in the summertime when I have a tan, so I think it'll work great for then. But right now, like to go ahead and then put concealer in areas just to try to lighten it up is almost like too much effort. But let's hope that they do come out with more shade ranges in the foundation. As for the concealer, I love the concealer. I love how it glided on. I love that I was able to build it up and it didn't become cakey and it didn't crease and it glided on so nice. It blended really beautiful and it just brightened my under eye area, brightened my face too as well. It really covered up the redness on my skin. Same with the foundation. The foundation did cover up the redness on my nose and my cheeks and both of these products did not make my skin flake where I have dry, super dry skin on my forehead. It did not cause any flakiness whatsoever, but I really, really enjoy the concealer. And same as the foundation, let's hope that they do come out with more shades than just nine of the concealer. So you guys, that's it for my first impressions on the Ardell Camouflage High Definition Foundation along with the Camouflage Concealer. Let me know in the comments down below if you went to your local Sally's and picked up these two products to give them a go to try them out. I know that they have more makeup. They have like eyeshadow palettes, eyeliners, mascaras. They have a a lot of stuff there. They also had another foundation there that's almost like a tint foundation, like a BB cream I'm guessing, but I love a matte foundation. So when I seen that, I had to pick it up but they have a lot more products there. And maybe I will go in there and test out some more products because I do like the finish that this foundation and concealer are giving me. But like I said, let's hope, Ardell, you guys come up with more shade ranges. So let me know in those comments down below if you did go to Sally's and you purchased the products. Also, let me know what is your favorite product by Ardell. Like what Ardell lashes do you love the most? What makeup do you love the most? Let me know in those comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.